thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this awesome looking Android box. It's called Elite Max Series. Now this is done by a company called Tangula. This is a box that comes fully loaded with everything. And then we will make another video. And that means is everything is going to be covered inside of that that we cannot cover under this video. So make sure you follow that. Except that this bad boy comes with four gigabyte of RAM, 128 gigabyte of storage. It is a gigabit LAN and also comes with a remote called W3 that will give you a voice control remote. Yes, this is another level box. And I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. So here are all the components that are part of the box. It comes with this user guide. Now it also comes with this user manual. Now there are some little packages that they have placed inside of this box that we can open. Now the first one is the actual remote. And this is the remote that comes with it, which is the regular IR remote. Now remember that this box comes with two remotes. So this is just a basic one. It looks like they start listening and that's what they really stand out for. So this is their basic remote, which is just an IR remote. You can see that they have two power buttons and this way you can connect it. All the information is written in the back on how you will be able to pair this with your regular TV. But all the other functions are there with the navigation key in the middle and numbers in the bottom. Now it also comes with another box and once we open that, you can see that there's a lot of things involved in it. So including the antenna for the box, HDMI cable and the power supply. And it also comes with a little USB type C to a regular USB charger. This is for your remote and then the actual antenna. We will show you how to connect this to the box. And it also comes with a power supply. I really like that, that the power supply is five volt, two amps created for Canada, United States. Also the prong that is going to connect to the actual box. Now this box also comes with a remote which is called W3. This is really nice looking remote. It is double sided. Yes, you have a full keyboard in the back which is called QWERTY keyboard. But it also have the function key so that way you can use the ones that are in a different color when you hold the function key. One really cool thing is that this is really looks like an Apple remote. And here is the comparison to the actual Apple remote. Now this is Apple TV 4 remote and this is how it really looks. But when you flip it in the back, you can see the Apple one is nice and solid and they have created the similar type of effect that this is an Apple remote, which is not. But this remote really stands out. We have already have a review video for this. We will put the links in the bottom of this video so you can see that too. But through this, I will be playing and I will be showing you exactly how this really works. There is a little USB dongle that comes with it. So that way this remote really works. So it just takes a couple of seconds for it to hook up and it will work perfectly. But there are navigation key with the OK in the middle. It does work. Also, you have a power button and then you have the home and also escape buttons together. You have a mic button. And there is a little mic on this that can listen. There's an IR right on the top, which really stands out, by the way. And then the mic is really on the top. It is very tiny, very, very tiny. It's right over there, so you can talk to it. We will test that out anyways. And then we have the menu button. We have the cursor, which will be air mouse remote. We have the volume up and volume down button, which really stands out. So we will test this out in a couple of seconds. Now it also comes with this little box. Here is the actual Tangula Elite Max. This is how it really looks. So it is sitting inside of a little plastic so it doesn't get scratched up. But once you take it out, I really like this, how it's been designed. In the front, there is a little film that is really cool. Now, let's go ahead and connect this and start playing with it to see exactly how good this is. But before we do that, 
Let's see what's involved with this. On the top, the name has been written really nicely. And then there is an antenna that comes with this. So you have to make sure that you... There you go. And now when you go to the front, you have a nice LED. It will show you the time. Also, when it's connected, everything else is showing inside of it. There is a little print on each side of it, which is a little blue. That is something new for us. So that when we connect it, we can see it. Now, going on one side of it, you have ATF card reader. Then you have USB 3.0. And then right in the corner part of it, you have a USB 2.0. Go into the back part of it, you have a LAN connection, which is a gigabit LAN. We will test everything out. And then we have a HDMI connection. We have a SPDIF, which is optical audio connection for your stereo system. And then the DC, which already indicated this is 5 volt. And then you can see the antenna. And the antenna is part of it, so which is a good thing. So that way it's better gain for Wi-Fi. And then there's a lot of holes for ventilation. And then when you go to the bottom part of it, you have these four little legs so once you put it on the actual table it doesn't really move I really like that and if you really look this is all made out of metal which is a really good thing so it brings a little weight to it and also going to keep the box cool now there's more holes for ventilation there's some sticker on the top that will tell you about the actual box what chip it is what model it is also how many gigs and how many ROM it has just in case if you ever forgot but more information is there. In the bottom part of it, you have the serial number and also you have the MAC address, which I'm just hiding mine. And that's about it. Let's get this connected and go next. All right, so to connect, first make sure you connect the HDMI. Now we always do that for CEC reasons. And that is just the communication between the box and also the TV to make sure that your TV is on and that way the box actually works better when you're connecting it. And then the power. And since there is a little USB for the actual remote, let's connect that too. And while it's booting up, it will tell you booting and then it will change to a time. That means it is now ready to use. So once the box start turning on, And then it goes to the main screen. Now I have the air mouse on because I am using the W3 remote. It's a beautiful remote, by the way, but this is the main screen. So let's go from the top and start capturing everything and let you know what exactly you're going to get. As soon as it turns on, make sure that you connect it to the internet. Doesn't matter if it's Wi-Fi or if it is going to be LAN connection. Right now I am connected via LAN connection, as you can see on the top. And then there is a Bluetooth connection. Yes, it's on. You can turn it off. And then go on to the other side of it, you have the time and the date, which is proper by the way, because it is grabbing it from your internet. So that way they know exactly where you are. And then huge icons for the actual Tang TV. Yes. And then you have YouTube, files, and then you have all apps. Now inside of it, we have installed a few things so that way we can do our own testing. And then you have the KDMC, which is a media center. And then the Firefox browser, and then wallpaper right now as you can see the wallpaper that we have is a little bit blue so let's go through and change it so there's a default and then there's an internal shared which we didn't put anything here yet so we're just going to go to the default one so this way we can change this is the one that is running right now and you can change it to any other ones that you wish so let's change it to this one and you can see that's how easy it is to process you just have to press back and now it's just saving the background and now the whole background changed now let's go back through and make it back to default so this way everything is nice and dandy and the same so you just have to press back in order to go back to the main screen and it just saves it and voila so now we're good now the other part is the actual settings your network information is on the top and then device preferences and then more settings and remote and access so this is how you will be able to add or remove your bluetooth remotes headphones and even speakers you can connect directly to this so you can take advantage of it so that's not the only thing there are some apps that are inside so for this review i cannot really go through and show you guys these but there are a lot of things available in this that you can play with all that will be available in the bottom of this video where you can see what is exactly involved in this where you can get for that 
But for this video, we will go to apps and one by one, we will capture to tell you what is good about this. Number one is going to be some benchmarking. So what we did, we already went to Geekbench and we're just going to launch it. You can see that it is AM Logics Max series. It's running OS 11. You can see for single core, we received 139 and for multi core, we received 400. In 78, which is really good number for something like OS 11 running on the AM Logics S905 X4 chipset. Now, the next thing I want to capture is going to be AID64. Now, AID64 gives you a lot of information in raw format. So, number one is that you can see the manufacturer is AM Logic, and then the model number is Max Series. Yes, brand is AM Logic. The board name is AH. 235 and then going down it has more information ram on this is four gigabyte how much is available and how much is used internal storage on this is a 128 gigabyte and how much is right now available right over here bluetooth on this is as we heard it is bluetooth 5 but for some reason all these boards from am logic does not show it that it is Bluetooth 5, so we will take it as Bluetooth 4.2. And then going under the CPU itself, you can see that it is ARM Kodak A55. It is quad core processor running on 2004 megahertz maximum. The architecture for this is on 64 bit, but because of the board, it is running on 32 bit. Now going down, the cores are right over here. And then the ones that are going up and down, you can see that it goes almost to the max. And that should take the heat up a little bit. And we will show you in a couple of seconds. But the CPU utilization is there and roughly going about 21%, which is really good. And scaling governor is scheduled, which is really good. And we will go under display. GPU on this is Molly G31, which is a single core processor running on 60 hertz landscape mode and the open gl on this is 3.2 which means is if you have games this will run really smoothly for you now going under network itself we are connected via lan connection but if you look down right over here it says 5g band supported yes that means it's going to work for you perfectly so if you go under android itself it is running android 11 which is called red velvet cake now under terminal is something we wanted to show you is the actual chip is running about 60.2 celsius the actual ram which is called ddr is also around same thing it doesn't have a battery so that means is the power connection that you have on it is about four celsius which is the lowest but these two are a little bit hotter than I was expecting it. Now the best part is that this is the X4 chipset. That means as AV1, which is right over here, is compatible. And now it's going to work and give you better decoding. That way you can see things on the box a lot better. It should just break the pixels for you properly so you can have a better picture. But you can see it does support VP9, VP8, going down to MPEG, MPEG4, H263, 264 is there too. And then going down, you have more information. You can see that this one does not have Dolby Digital, but it has Dolby Vision supported so that way you can play with something like Disney Plus so that we can get your voice everything properly on this. You can see that it has already been add it for you guys. Now what we also did is we installed the DRM info. When you go to it, it gives you info. It will give you a lot of detailed information inside of it. So let's go through and just show you a few things that we found out. You can see that the security level is L3, which is level three, but your max HDCP level is nothing. That means is that when you're trying to play with certain apps like Netflix, it's not going to help you out to get you HD quality. That really requires licensing and also a little bit more support and it will cost a lot of money for them to go next. So no, it is not supported on this box anyways. Now we already went through root check. This way we can see exactly access or not. So let's go verify. And no, you do not have full access to this software itself or it's not rooted properly. Now the next app that we wanna go to is going to be YouTube app. As you can see right now that this is 4K quality, which means is that this box works perfectly 
with 4K. That's not only thing, let's go some, let's go and get some detailed information. Now you can see that this is running on 1080p. There's zero frame drop, which is a really good thing. And you can see that this goes about 4K and 30 Hertz. That should be okay. But now going down, the codex that is running on this video because it's 4K is AV1, which what we really looking for. And you can see that it's very smooth. There's not much of delay or breakage when you are playing with 4K content on this box. This is what we are really looking for. Now the next part, I just want to mention that we cannot go into this in this video, but here you go. So Netflix is going to be running on this as standard definition, but you do require to have this W3 remote in order for it to play because it is made for touch screen and not for regular Android TV OS, and this is not. And one more thing is that the Disney Plus on this do work, but you do require to have a username and password. Same thing for your Netflix, so you have to have your own subscription in order to gain access to these apps. But when you go to it too, you do not have to click any kind of extra things to click on and play. So I have this video already done and full and that way you can view it to know exactly how that is done but for this video we can just talk about it and elaborate that how things are going to be done on this and yes it works so you do not have to worry about it one more thing is that this box comes with a bunch of different apps so you can gain access to your live tv so something like this one which is called omega and also have this for vod the Orion is another one which is a really good app to play with. There's also the Tang TV, which is a really cool thing. Also, they have Tubi, but you know, it's there. And it will really work when you want to play. YouTube have two different apps. One is regular YouTube TV, and the other one is called SmartTube, which you can play with, and I'm sure that it will really help you out. One more thing that they have done is, beside the Google Play Store, they do not have Aptoid, but they have actually entered the APK Pure, which kind of looks like the Google Play Store, but without username and password, and yes, you can go through it. Only thing that I have noticed is that it has a lot of ads when you're going through to play with it, except that it does the work for you, what you're really looking for. All right, so now just to test to see exactly how good the video will play using this box, let's go through and test it out. So we're using something called VLC through our network to see exactly how good this will play the video for us. Now we have some sample videos, so let's go through from the actual 1080p to 4K. This is regular 1080p video. So you can see that actual digitizing is properly. This is how easy it is to look at. Camera is a little bit shaky, but it's one of really old videos that I have from 2014, so we can use it. And here you go, this is how it really looks. So we have this old video that is 4K, and yes, this is not 10-bit video, but you can see that how nice and smooth it just start grabbing it, and there are some parts that I can see that it does not break. It usually with other boxes, it does break. This one does not. It has a lot of little particles that is in this video that I am looking for in order for the 4K to break or give me some pixelization that I am looking for. And it does not do that. So that means is 4K on this is also going to work perfectly. Now this is 4K and 10 bits. So this is supposed to freeze like any other boxes and it doesn't. As soon as I click on it to play, it start playing it while I was trying to turn off the air mouse. And yes, there's no stop to this. This is perfect on how it plays it. The sound is accurate too. It is, there you go. You can hear it. the sound is in the background that it does play it for you properly. I really like this, this how everything looks on this and there is no stop to it. It plays it perfectly. So now just to indicate that playing the actual pictures was perfect. The next thing that I wanted to go through and play was the gaming. And I will leave that for the end of the video while we're trying to close the video. We will play that for you. But I have to mention that it plays it flawless. It's very smooth. Here's one more thing that I have to mention is the speed test. Now we have already processed this and four different times, but two of them going to be LAN connection and two of them going to be 
the Wi-Fi 5G network. So here you go, these are the 5G, you can see that I have a gigabit download, and also I have about 50 megabit upload, which just changed not that long ago, because our area is working on 10 gigabit internet. So here you go, our download rate on Wi-Fi, because it is about rush hour time, is, you can see that it's 166 for my download, and 52.3 for my upload. When I tried it one more time, it went down a little bit. Just let me just click on it so you can see it better. And here you go, you can see that my download was about 156, but I know that this part arced a little bit because it went up about 240 and I got really happy that, wait a second, this is gonna show a little bit better. And you can see that right there, that how much data I used when I was downloading. But when I was uploading, it was always steady and my ping was really low, so that kind of explains it why this was happening, but still, here you go. Now, the next part, what I did is the LAN connection to this, and this is my download for my LAN connection, which is a little bit above 500, which is 536, and there's not much arc that is going through. It was very, very steady going all the way through, and for my upload, also, it just stayed to 54.2, which is exceeding. It's supposed to be about 50, and my ping was very low, which is, again, really good number. Now, when I went for very last time, it went down a little bit, and you can see that it arced down. It was about 100, and it went about 200. 300 300 and start going up to about 427 at the end of it and you can see that it just went through there was a little bit of an arc going down up and down and then it just stayed up a little bit so it was over 427 but when we did for upload it just really steady stayed on about 53 ish and then it just jumped to 54 in order to get this number and my ping still going to be down which is really good or we call it idle now don't forget to view the full review about this box on the link which is going to be underneath of this video. Except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website which is xctext.info, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and other social networking places and thank you.